Hello everyone, welcome to Acebet's assembly video. Today we're going to be looking at the assembly of a quadruped robot. So let's get start. Take the parts out of the package and check the parts against the parts list. If any parts are missing, please contact support at acebot.com. Remove the protective paper attached to the acrylic. Please combine videos and tutorials to build the product accurately. Note, the servo shaft should face outward. Note, the servo shaft should face outward. Note, the USB port on the ESP8266 V1.0 is on the same side as the switch on the servo expansion board. Note, the raised side of the steering rocker arm is always facing towards FEMA. Note, the raised side of the steering rocker arm is always facing towards FEMA. Install the second one in the same way. Now, we're going to install the third and fourth. The installation direction is opposite to the previous two.
Note, ensure that all cables are correctly connected before powering on the device to avoid burning the modules and controller board. Note, the brown wires of the servo should all be connected to the outside pins. Turn on the power switch, and the servo angle returns to the initial position. When the wiring is finished, you can turn the switch off. Note, the servo shaft should face up. Install the second one in the same way. Now, we're going to install the third and fourth. Note, the installation direction of the servo is opposite to the previous tomb. Note, install as shown in the video. Route the cable through the hole before installation. Install the second one in the same way. Now, we're going to install the third and fourth. Note, the installation direction is opposite to the previous tomb. Note, install as shown in the video. After the installation is complete, you will get the robot form as shown in the video. Note, the brown wires of the servo should all be connected to the outside pins. Note, use cable ties to arrange the wires. Note, both logos should be oriented on the same side.
first you need to install the battery and then turn on the switch. Then you will see the irregular posture shown in the video. Now, let's adjust the cross to the correct position as shown in the picture above. Note, the servo angle should be horizontal as shown in the picture above. When position initialization is over, turn off the switch. After the final adjustment, it servos the fixed with 8M2 5 asterisk for round head screws.